Welcome to the Dennis Jernigan Podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to help you find healing for your wounds, find hope in your despair, find intimacy in your loneliness, find refuge from the storms of life, basically to help you find a deeper walk with Jesus. There's one thing I know after having lived all these years now, it's this, God wastes nothing, not our sorrows, not our wounds. He does not even waste our failures. Hi, I am your host, Dennis Jernigan. But before I go on with the podcast, I have some exciting news to share with you. Recently, due to health issues that have arisen in my life, I have needed to come up with a better way of delivering my creative output to those who enjoy it or to those who are benefited by it in some way, whether through my music or through my writing or through my teaching. You can receive all such benefits much more easily now by becoming a member of my Patreon page. Patreon is spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Patreon is a unique platform for releasing new music, new books, daily devotions, behind-the-scenes videos, teaching videos, as well as up-close and personal times with yours truly. That's me. To learn more about the, the many benefits you would receive by becoming a member of my Patreon page, that's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N, simply go to patreon.com slash Dennis Jernigan. That's patreon.com slash Dennis Jernigan. Go there and read about the many benefits and rewards you will receive by becoming a member and start reaping those rewards this very day. And now back to today's podcast. Today we're going to be talking about the story behind my song, I Revel in the Love, from the recording Here in Your Presence. I received this particular song on September 26th of 2009. One day, as was my practice, I asked my pastor at that time what he was teaching the next time I was going to lead worship. His response? Simple. God's love. Now, I I immediately began to think about how much pleasure God takes in my presence. I really do believe he takes much more pleasure in my presence than I take in his. God revels in his love for me. To revel means to take great pleasure in something. This song was born as I meditated on God's love for me. Until we believe God loves us, how can we adequately love someone else? I mean, really, how can we love someone else if we do not believe we are even loved? Think of all he did to get to you. If we really believed God's love for us, why would we ever turn to anything else for our worth? Why would we ever need to find solace in drugs or alcohol or sex or money or fame or anything else? His love is able to overcome sin and overcome failure. His love is able to set us free from bondage that seemingly has us in the grip of death. His love is absolutely beyond amazing. It is life-altering. It is victory-inducing. God not only loves me, guess what? He likes me, and He likes being with me. How do I know this? From simply, simply relating to my own children as their father, When I am with my children, I do not even need to say a word. I love listening to them talk to one another. I love just being with them. And if I, as an earthly father, can say that and mean it, how much more is our Heavenly Father's ability to do that very thing? This song is a tool meant to help us revel in God's love for us. This is Romans 8, 38 through 39. You've heard it before, but let me read it again. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God. Do you hear that? Nothing. There is nothing I could say There is nothing I can do That could ever make you love me You just love me, you just do I could try to earn your praise But I can't fool you or pretend On the inside I'm still naked You love me just the way I am And I revel in the love 
You have lavished down on me Freely gave your life and blood Just because you really wanted me So I marvel in your love And it's power to set me free it was strong enough, it reached far enough To find someone lost as me And I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you For loving me For loving me You loved me even in my sin Accepting me right where I was Clothed in rags of shame and failure You held me close in arms of love Together all the pieces Bring healing to the place of wounds And I revel in the love You have lavished down on me Freely gave your life and blood just because you really wanted me So I marvel in your love And it's power to set me free It was strong enough And it reached far enough To find someone Father, thank you for loving us to such a degree that you revel in your love for us. You take delight in our presence. May we learn to take delight in your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. 
John 3, 16 and 17 says this, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. I would lay down my life for any one of my children. That's simply because I love them and I value them more than I value my own life. And to take it a step further in expressing God's love for us, let me throw my grandchildren into the mix. I love them. Why? They've done nothing to earn that love. I love them before they were even born. I love them even when they do not even know I exist. I love them before they ever utter a word to me, before they even laugh at one of my lame granddad jokes. Why do I love them so much? I love them simply because they exist. Again, I am an earthly father and I can say and mean that. So how much more does our Heavenly Father love us? And why? He loves us simply because we exist. Let us simply believe and receive that truth today and let us move on down the road from the wreckage of our past unbelief in this area and move into the restoration of God's deep and abiding love for us. That is the place of true and lasting victory in this life. Let us simply live like we know God loves us, right? Well, today's episode is brought to you as usual by mpdesignsjewelry.com. At mpdesignsjewelry.com, you'll find beautifully crafted, one-of-a-kind jewelry, or you can have artisan, my wife, the beautiful Melinda Jernigan, create a special piece for that someone special in your life. I have exciting news for you today in addition to the Patreon page. For the past 10 years, I've been writing my own daily devotions to help me with the renewal of my mind and to help me understand more of who God is and what that means to my own identity. Last year, we released Daily Devotions for Kingdom Seekers, Volume 1, and I'm so excited to be able to tell you about the release of Daily Devotions for Kingdom Seekers, Volume 2. The ebook is now available for $4.99, and the print version is available for $12.99. I cannot think of a better way to bless those you love than with these daily reminders of who God is and of what that knowledge means concerning their own identity. Daily Devotions for Kingdom Seekers Volume 2 is available at the following online vendors, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, iBooks, Kobo, and anywhere else you buy books online. Or you can just click the link provided in this podcast note or the podcast notes and order your own copy today. And while you're at it, pick up a few as gifts for those you think might be blessed by such a gift. Of course, as usual, Daily Devotions for Kingdom Seekers Volume 1 will still be available as a free ebook just to say thank you for supporting the work of ministry God has called me to. And that is to remind people of who God is and of what that means for them in this life. And as usual, I have one more free gift for you today. I hope you don't get tired of free gifts, but I'm giving them away. Go to DennisJernigan.com and click on the store button. Once there, you'll find a free song of the month. Just download that song and be encouraged. Every month you can do this. And remember once again to check out patreon.com slash Dennis Jernigan and start enjoying the benefits of membership today. Thank you for joining me here on the Dennis Jernigan podcast. If you'd like more information on me or my story or my music, you can go to DennisJernigan.com. You can also follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. You can find me on iTunes. And if you'd like an MP3 of the song, I Revel in the Love from the recording here in your presence, just go to the store at DennisJernigan.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for joining me for today's podcast. And remember this, if you remember nothing else, God loves you and so do I. Now go and be who Father says you are.